What's inspect for Node.js? Well, that's for debugging and setting breakpoints. Node.js, which runs on the Google V8 engine, does support setting breakpoints using a remote debugger protocol. That's what the inspect argument is for. Let me switch to Visual Studio Code and show you an example. I am going to use Visual Studio Code because it's really simple to show everything in one screen. You can use any editor you want, um, there's no restriction. And uh, as long as you can run Node.js on the command prompt, you can use the inspect argument. On my screen over here, I have a very simple application that I've written, which I can use to demonstrate the inspect argument and how to set a breakpoint in Node.js. So basically, I have a web server, an express web server. I'll put the source code in the description below. It's, it's just a few lines of code, very simple. A any program works the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint on line number six over here. So basically, my web server has one um, HTTP get, which is hello. You call hello, it will reply world. Hello world. Let me show you the first way to start the debugger. It's pretty straightforward. So within Visual Studio Code, there is a directory called VS Code that has a file called launch.json. It contains the instructions of how to launch the debugger in attach. I have intentionally deleted that folder in the file so that I can show you how to do it from scratch. So what you do is you click this button over here. This is the uh, debugger button. And then you click on create a launch JSON file. What this does is it, gi it gives you a few options. Choose Node.js over here. And it will create a file on your disk. And just save this file, mine saved already. What this file does is it gives Visual Studio Code the instructions of what kind of debugger configuration that you want. Once you have the file, just inspect the options that it puts. So it puts one configuration and it just says request launch, launch program. And the program is just the file that I have. I only have one file in my project, which is index.js. So how I launch a debugger, very straightforward. Just click this uh, arrow button over here and it will launch the debugger. Now that the debugger is running, I can actually hit the endpoint hello and get the breakpoint to hit. In the debugger, I get this menu over here, which can pause, um, it can step, uh, it can restart and it can stop the application. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run curl over here. I'm going to run curl. And I'm just going to make a web request to hello and it will hit the breakpoint. Okay, so let me just do that real quick. There we are. The breakpoint hits and that is because the debugger is running. Now, if I go to debug console, uh, I can actually type in commands over here to directly send into the debugger. Uh, it's a bit tedious. Um, what else I can do is I can step. I can step in. I can step out. I can restart. I can also inspect variables over here. And I can actually drop down these menus and inspect more variables over here. I'm going to skip all that because I just want to show how to attach the debugger and the different ways of attaching. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click uh, continue and go back to my terminal. And there we are. Content world, which is exactly what the uh, rest send will do. Let's kill the application and try using the uh, inspect argument. So what exactly is inspect? Well, basically, if we launch the application with a debugger, we can debug it. But what if we want to attach the debugger after launching? Like what if we want to just run the application, run whatever we want, and then attach the debugger later? That's what inspect does. So how to use inspect is very simple. All we got to do is we go to PowerShell. We just run node minus minus inspect and we type in the name of the file we want. In my case, index.js. What this does is it runs the application and it turns on the debugger. So I can see here it says debugger listening on WebSocket localhost 9229 and it gives a GUI at the back. To attach the debugger, 
we need to add an option to launch JSON to say attach to process. How we can do it is we can just click this drop down over here. We just go add configuration and we just choose Node.js attach. What will happen is it will add an option to launch JSON to attach. Where does it attach to? It attaches to port 9229, which is exactly the same port as the debugger. So we just save this in launch JSON. Then we choose uh, attach, which is the first option over here. And we click the uh, run button. This won't run the application. Instead, it will just launch the debugger and attach to port 9229. Let's do that. So now that we have attached to 9229, we can actually see debugger attached. I'm going to run curl one more time. And there we are. It hits the breakpoint just as it did before. Let me just detach and kill the application. Now inspect has a variation. If I do inspect and I put break at the back, uh, what happens is that the application launches, the debugger starts, but the application stops immediately at the first line of JavaScript. Uh, what this means is that I need to actually attach a debugger to resume the application. You can use this mode if you want to debug the loading of a script. You want to debug the top of, of the file. Um, it's, it's exactly the same as launching inside uh, Visual Studio Code itself. So I don't use inspect break at all. But if you needed to script it in a certain way where you wanted to use inspect break, yep, you can go ahead and use inspect break. Let me just kill the application and show you how to do it from package JSON. Well, basically it's the same. Um, in package JSON, under scripts, I have start. And what it does is it just runs node index.js. Pretty basic. I'm just going to add another line here over here. I'm just going to call this one. Um, I'm going to call it debug. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do minus inspect over here. Save it. And if I run yarn uh, debug, you can run npm as well. npm run debug. Same thing. I'm going to run that. And there we have it. The debugger will open and you open the port 9229 and it's basically the same as just running inspect on the uh, prompt. You can use the uh, package JSON. You can you can put the line inspect uh, even for tests. If you have a test line like Mocha or Jest, um, just put minus minus inspect as the first argument and you'll get a debugger for it. Very useful for especially for unit testing. Um, and in a nutshell, that's exactly how um, inspect works. It's basic. You just put minus minus inspect uh, as the first command line argument and the debugger turns on. I use this technique daily to debug Node.js. I always leave an option in the package JSON with the minus minus inspect um, just in case I need it. And then I just attach uh, whenever I need. So if I need to debug something, Pretty straightforward, just attach the debugger. You can actually use Google Chrome to attach to the debugger. I'll show that in the next video. It's a bit more involved. There is a tab you need to type and a tab will appear and then you can click on it and you can attach to Node.js. Uh, I'll show that in the next video. It's a bit uh, more complicated, but there's more than one kind of debugger that can be used if you don't want to use Visual Studio Code. Anyway. A gentle reminder to subscribe, hit that bell icon and give me a like if you like the content. Give me a comment in the description below if you have any tips or anything you want to know about debugging, especially Node.js. Uh, I'll be glad to make a video about it. Anyway, it's been a pleasure presenting this information. I'm High Voice, signing out. <music>